All right, that worked. Well, the other guys are out by that ash, cleaning it up, and I didn't want to make more mess out there. I can come here kind of by myself. I'm 100 yards across the way. Yeah, I can take down that pine. And I think this one is declining. And this one, uh, which we set up with a GRCS. So that I'll go there last because I could use some rigging on there. I mean, I could go piece that out by myself, but you know, we can get somebody helping out with that. It'd work well. So I'll start on this craggy one. Looks pretty rotten. It does have, you know, a fair amount of, you know, good wood on the back side here. And this is the back side of, it leans slightly that way. So this is kind of my holding wood. So I'll go up this side, drop everything off. We got a little guy here, probably should protect. And this little spruce, is that a fir? A little spruce yeah so we'll protect him a little white pine here we should be able to piece that down send the top somewhere in here and then we'll climb that other one could uh, could send a good sized trunk right down there so we got a plan game of trees we're having fun All right, well, I just put a new battery in. And it said repairing file, and then it said repair failed. So I might have just lost some footage from our earlier work, which was felling that ash tree back there. But now I'm taking down pine you gotta protect that so I might as well put this on a handsaw <sighs> come on Wow, are you catching everything? Of course, it's trying to tangle up my rope. Come over here to work. Absent the crew. I better take that off or it's gonna cause pain on my body somewhere. Okay. So we got a decayed base on this thing. Let's see how good I can stack these. Let's see if I can impress the guys when they come over here and they can they can just grab a tile and take it away with the mini. Hello? Yeah, this one's coming down. It's got a bunch of decay. So. You did? Well, you, you've been gardening here quite some time. <laughs> Forty years ago she planted this as a forestry seedling. 
Well, that's that's about a mature harvest then, 40 years. I'm doing pretty good on this stack. I think I can just drop this. Make a drop cut with a handsaw. Perfect. All right. A little bigger, so we can get her, get her on the pile. It's gonna break loose. It's a good stack. So we just got done with TCIA Expo. Said hi to a bunch of folks out there. A few people pulled me aside and said, hey, like what you do on YouTube. So thank you all who uh, passed those thank yous on. I uh, having fun with YouTube. It's a good way to preserve my career a little bit and add a little, you know, interest at this point in my career. Let's see if I can get this to drop. Alright, we get that little white pine we're trying to protect down there. So far so good. If I do my hand saw, I can stack these up nice and neat. This baby uh, shakes a little bit. So I've got quite a bit of decay in the lower trunk. The whole front side of the tree is all punky down there. So I'm not trying to shake it a lot. But... I got a couple of little trees, young ones underneath me. Gotta protect. So yeah, TCIA was a great time. I spent a fair amount of time at the at the Dino booth. Dino lifts. They were there of course. And they had a couple of 92s out there. And I uh probably assisted according to the buyers I assisted in some sales <laughs> so just there giving a little personal testimony of what we like about the lift it's actually up getting its annual inspection might as well put my rope up here and uh so yeah, I was talking it through with some guys. There's, it's funny is when you're talking to some guys that got nifty lifts, which, you know, is probably the most similar lift to Dino is the nifty lift, but they're just, there's no comparison. I mean, the, probably the single biggest factor is 360 degree continuous rotation on the Dino, Dino lift. 
and nifty lift is like 260 degrees or whatever you know it, it's well 360 maybe it goes almost all the way around and not quite and so if you're over there and you got to get a little farther the other way you, you, you got to go all the way back around you can't just keep going and even even better than the the dino you can you can stow it you can stow it the opposite way so you, you drive it out there one way you can stow it the opposite way and drive it out forwards you know you can you have options you can either either way you want to do it and so that that alone you know i was buying a grapple once for for one of our minis and the sales rep was saying do you want a hydraulic rotation on that i'm like 360 degree you know continuous rotation on your grapple because a lot of these mini mini grapples it, it's just a a hanging grapple and you have to manually turn it or or like swivel it or you know make it make it move and i said the only people that don't get a hydraulic rotation on their grapple are the ones that have never run one because once you have one you're like there's no way i i mean i want when i want it to move just a little bit i want to do it i want control of that machine who would not want control of the rotation i just can't even fathom it <laughs> so same thing on a lift put a little mark on that spruce down there oh, got it but yeah if a 360 degree rotation on a lift compared to a not 360 degree rotation it's like that one feature alone should sell you but the other thing is is the dyno lifts probably almost 2,000 pounds heavier 1800 or something like that now for some that's a negative because they're trying to stay under CDL. But I, I just, again, I, I don't know why you try to stay under CDL. Because for trees, you just, I mean, you gotta, you gotta haul heavy stuff. So I've already committed to CDL, so I don't care. Uh, our, our, our lift trailer we put it in a garage on wheels and it's a 20,000 pound trailer so we're class a anyways if we put that on a a one ton did you know at least in wisconsin if you like a one ton chevy is actually rated for 11,000 pounds So if you have a, a 15,000 pound trailer, like a, a dumping trailer, some of these dumping trailers might be, you know, 7,000 pound axles. So the payload's actually like 15,000 pounds because of the tongue weight. You, know, you got 14,000 pounds on the wheels and then you've got, you know, a thousand pounds of tongue weight you can have. So they're usually rated over 15,000 pounds, plus the rated 11,000 pounds on the one ton, the dually, and that's over 26,000 GVW combined potential. It's not what you have on, it's what your potential is. That's what determines your licensing. So we had a, one of our guys grounded one time because the Highway Patrol, that's nice. Nice job, Kev. Uh, pulled him over. He says, yeah, well, you got 11,000 pound truck and a 15,000 pound trailer. 15.5 is what it was rated for. 
so 1500 pounds of tongue weight and that's a lot of branch there's that little spruce down there can i hold it i could put it right in there and toss it let's see if i can do that here we go Almost. I think I might hear Taylor on sight. Anyways, where was I? Rotation I was talking about or something? Yeah, so the Dino lift is a 360 degree continuous rotation. And that's a big feature. So, now they're trying to talk me into the, the new one, the, the lithium. I don't know if I'm ready to go lithium. I have anything against it. I just don't know if I'm ready to go there. I trust those Finlanders are making it good for the cold. Okay. How much do I have here? It's pretty heavy. It's gonna land on those other ones. Oh, yeah, come on, baby. There we go. Nice on the pile. Hey, let me uh, turn my mic on. Ah. Uh, you want to jump up in those ash trees? Down there, yeah. yeah. It was just too messy for me to just go start doing it. So I got it all set up, got a rope in there. It's going to be kind of springy up in that. It's in a hackberry or a mulberry, but it's on, you know, multiple things. It's good safety tie. And then, uh, yeah, we can, we can lower stuff to the neighbors. You know, Bill, Bill works with the neighbor too, so however it works. But I was going to put a couple of blocks in there. And you'll, you'll figure it out. All right, good deal. I'll keep doing this. So I had set up a couple of ash trees for a takedown. Yeah, Taylor? There's a little one over, there's two of them. So there, there's a little one over the fence, and then of course the big one. Okay. All right. So anyhow, I'd set those up, but the guys were still working on this giant one that I fell. And you know, if you've ever worked with dead ash, it's, <coughs> it's a mess. It's like pick them up sticks and it just doesn't pay to make this giant mess <coughs> uh, which i'm capable of doing by the way uh, i can make a mess the guy says the guys say i'm really good at it I'm stacking this up pretty nice. Might be more than one grapple when I'm done with it. But I'm getting into a pretty good pile. You know, some guys don't like the handsaw. Now maybe they would say. <laughs> the only guys who would say is better to handsaw than use one hand on a chainsaw are the ones that never do it well that might be true but I literally never have have reached out a few times less than 10 still it's just something I decided not to do you know because I was when I first got going my my mentor, he didn't know it, but it was Ken Palmer with Arbor Master Training. It was before he had Arbor Master Training. He was running around with Dave Weber. 
and he and Dave came to Wisconsin and ran a seminar and I was watching them and I said man what how they do it is the way it's done and so and they of course were you know working closely with ISA ultimately when he got Arbor Master going and they made the Arbor Master videos with Rip Tompkins and you know it's two hands on chainsaw that's the way it was done they were they were in the industry they're promoting industry standards and that was right when I was getting going so yeah that's how I did so that was my personal standard now had I been taught by someone doing otherwise I would probably have a different opinion quite possibly just by experience but I didn't so I tend to have guys you know judging me for that but like, that's who I am and uh, <laughs> I've got my mic off I'm listening to those guys over there <sighs> Taylor's Taylor's giving the old guys a hard time over there. Taylor showed up. He's he's on the geriatric crew now. You know, so he's the he's a young 26 year old buck. And it's all us old guys. So he can he can hold his own though verbally. Taylor Taylor's got good wit. Yeah, I'd... Hey, just because I have my mic off doesn't mean I can't hear you. I did. I claimed responsibility for that broken branch and I went up and fixed it. I, I appreciate that Mark. Mark's taking partial responsibility because he said, shouldn't your hinge be just a little bit more this way? And so I did. You could call that hammage. I'm listening to the guys now on the thing. I'm I'm gonna de mute my mic again. Yeah, so I mute my mic, but I I keep the earphones on, so just in case they get snarky and include me in some sarcasm. I'm, I'm able to, you know, pop back on and defend myself. All right, we're getting up here. This baby's moving a little bit. I could have left some branches on for ballast because of how, how bad the lower trunk is on this. This is moving more because I took all the lower branches off. So there could have been justification for leaving some on, but they'd just be in the way. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't beat this piece this out. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to go up high and take, take it all off small. So we got that little white pine down there. It's, it's all nested. I'm all around it, but I haven't wrecked it yet. So it's the replacement. Alright. 
So yeah, I'm gonna end up like piecing this thing down completely with my handsaw. That's crazy. I mean, that's crazy even for me. That might have got the little pine. You devil. <sighs> At least it's small enough. It won't be, it won't really be noticed, but it'd be nice to see it. Making a nice pile there. I put this rope on so that I could cut with my chainsaw, and then I never did. Maybe I did once. Maybe I made one cut. I think I did. Ugh. All right. Yeah, we're swaying a little bit. We're moving, at least we don't have any wind. Well, I could whip out the chainsaw and make a couple cuts, just for fun, but... Why I'm having such a fun time. Better get this off. I got a nice sharp silky. Okay, it's a pretty big branch. Try to get it to hang on a little bit. It's gonna sweep those other ones. Ah. It's noon already. Wow, guys are talking over here. Sometimes I'd like to, uh, I can let this one go. Could light up my saw. If I had my electric saw, I probably would. Look at that right on the pile. You cannot complain about that. Oh, inverted. Okay, where should I put this? I could, I could just cut it here and have it spear cut down. I think I will. We'll cut a narrow notch. I mean, I could go up there and make that really small. But I think I get the most of the weight over there. We'll do this. Yeah, I wanted to come back on me. I mean, I cut over 50%, but it, maybe there was a little breeze up there or something. But now some guys will cut with their saw and 
push that, but what if that's a spear cut? What if a branch comes down and drags me across my saw? It's possible. I don't, I don't like the cut and push method there with a, with a power saw. No, I don't want to crush all my branches, nice branches down there. We'll do a break cut. Just sits there. All right, that works. We're on this way. I gotta turn them down. They're cutting. Mike's running that three, 592 right in my ear. He needs to mute his mic. Had to turn him down. Okay, what do we got going on here? It leans a little bit that way. Let's do another break. I do on these verticals is I cut most of the way through so if it does sit on there it's a long enough curve that it, it doesn't sit to the breaking point if you do it in the middle it'll break and go on its own That sat down. That sat down, it closed, but it doesn't break. Boom. All right, now I can probably start hinging them. You can cut in there over 50%. Get it to drop off of there. If I can get it to start. Nothing wrong with a short trunk. All right. Kind of 
Somehow I cut that over way far. Didn't even see that. Must have filled that gap. Everything turned out okay. I had uh, sawdust in the kerf. Couldn't see that little Dutchman on the other side. Good thing that wasn't a whole tree. A little high on the backside. Get those guys over here to move some of this brush. So this is a friendly fall and we don't break all the branches. That's that. It's down. Going for the next one. Playing the game of trees. 